Hello everyone and welcome to the wild update. Minecraft 1.19 is here and I want to explore it so we're making a new let's play series. Here's all our world settings so let's go. We're here! New world! We spawned right here. I want to mark that spot. Let's chop a tree. Wood. Let's make planks and we shall mark the spawn. Okay, what have we actually got here? It looks like we have a savanna and a desert and ocean. I don't really like spawning in a savanna, but I do like that it's a warm biome because you know what else is a warm biome? The new mangrove swamps. I really, really want to find a new mangrove swamp. And I want to use the wood to build. Wait, is that a coral reef? Or am I crazy? Let's have a look. I'm gonna leave the floating tree and commit a Minecraft sin. It's okay because it's single player. No one else is here. And oh, I think it's a coral reef. Oh, oh, I'm gonna drown. Okay, let's just get back to shore and we've got to focus on some normal Minecraft things. Let's punch another tree and then we'll make some tools and a crafting table. Okay, planks, sticks, crafting table and tools. Oh, and maybe we'll make a boat as well because we are at the ocean. There we go. As far as tools, we probably just need a pickaxe. And there's stone right here that we can get. My hunger is kind of low. Oh, coal! Coal, coal, coal. I wonder if there's any fish I can eat around here. Just get this coal. And, oh no, the sun's gonna go down. Oh, that's a puffer fish. I don't wanna eat that. Where's just the normal cod? No! I have no food. Did I just say, is that iron? Ooh, I did. It's right up there. Okay, we're going up there. Iron! Let's go. Uh-oh, we need to get in a hole. But I also want this cow. I need food. I'm sorry, cow. Okay, diggy hole time. Gonna make some torches and cook my food and just kind of camp out for the night. Yep, pretty cozy. The sun is up and we survived our first night. How is there so much coal in this area? I'm not complaining, but how? Oh, also, I made myself some booties and listen to this. They make a sound. I don't know why, but I really like that. Anyway, I think we're gonna sail up the coast a little bit. It'd be nice to find a village or at least some food. And then, of course, eventually our goal is to find somewhere to settle down and live. Oh, a rum portal. Yes, please. I bet I can't even mine the gold block. Ah, and there's two. It's basically taunting me. Uh, I'll take these. I'm breaking. I'm breaking. Sure. Oh, I see more food. Sorry. Sorry. I do apologize. And we can finally get a bed. Oops. Oh, seeds. Nice new bed. Just in time to sleep. I then continued wandering until I came across a village. Oh, just what I was looking for. This is perfect. Oh, hello. I'm new to your world. Oh, a saddle and boots. Could be helpful for the snow. Oh, and these. Yes. Oh, and books. Don't mind if I do. After leaving the village, I encountered my first true 1.19 experience. Okay, nobody freak out, but there's a pillager outpost right by the village. Whoa, look at that terrain. Ah, they're coming for me! Ah! <laughs> Usually I wouldn't care about this, but I heard they can have allies. Oh, there's allies! Oh my gosh, free them, free them, free them. Ah, they're coming for me! I don't have enough armor to fight them. How do I get the allies? Wait, can I give you a thing and then will you be mine? Oh, I gave it a thing! I didn't know there could be two. Wait. Hello? I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let me give you dirt. Here we go. Run away, run away. Please follow me. I don't know how allies work. Okay, I think I might have lost them. We're just gonna cross this river. And do I have friends? <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. Wait, where's the other one? <gasps> Hello? Oh my goodness. They look like little fairies. This is the cutest thing ever. Look at you. I'm sorry I gave you dirt. I'll get you a better gift soon. So I started brainstorming names for my friends while we headed off to find ourselves a home.
We've come pretty far at this point. I see some interesting stuff over here. Oh, that looks like a swamp tree. I think we're gonna go in this direction though, towards the birch forest. If we can find a dark oak biome, I'd really like to settle there and they're usually next to birch forests. Oh, we found it. There is a dark oak forest. Oh, it's pretty dark. Do scary mobs still spawn here? My plan for building here is to hopefully find some mangrove wood because I think it'll go really well with the red and the mushrooms. Oh, oh, there are scary mobs in the forest. Confirmed. No. Oh, I did it. Wait, did he drop anything? Where's my bones? Rude. Okay, I think I want to live right here, right where the river is. In this direction, we have a jungle. You can kind of see it over there. And in the other direction, I don't know if we can see it. Oh, you can kind of see the top of the birch trees. That's the birch forest. Ah, it feels so good to be able to make a chest. My inventory's been so full. Everything in the chest. And here's our final home. It's not that much yet, but we'll get building soon. Next on the to-do list, we need to clear out some of these trees and gather some supplies to build. So I'm going to start by making an iron axe and maybe a chest plate and pants. Well, now we've cleared out trees on both sides of the river a little bit, I want to get a couple of crops planted. We'll do it over here. We have seeds and we have a single carrot that I got off a zombie. So we'll pop these down. Ooh, a seedy place. And after chopping all these trees, I've got plenty of wood to build with, but I would really like some mangrove wood. I think our best hope is if we go back to where we saw that swamp tree. Because if there's a swamp, then there might be... Ooh, there might be a mangrove swamp. I'm just going to run away from that. Come on, allies. Let's go. And it really didn't take us long before we found the mangroves. Look at that. It's right there. Allies, we found it. I really should name you two. Actually, I think I've decided on names, although I can't tell you apart, so it's going to be interesting. We're going to call you Evie and Luna. I think those are cute names. Whoa, the biome looks kind of big. It goes all the way around there. Okay, we need to actually check this out. Oh my gosh, I'm already seeing so many things that I didn't know were, well, things. Oh my gosh, the mud sound. Listen to that. Wait, and look at this. This is, is this moss, moss carpet? What? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, then. Oh, and look at these root thingies. Do they just, oh my gosh, I can take it? What is it called? Oh, <laughs> it's called mangrove root. That does make sense. What are these? What, what, what are these? Are they like the saplings? Mangrove propagule. Can you just like, oh, you can, but I don't want to plant it. I want to take it with me. Wow. I really, really like the swamp. Okay, let's just do this. Oh, it's so red and it's a little more pink than I thought it would be. Okay, Evie and Luna, I think it's time to go home. We got some wood and we got some proper gills, so we should be good to build a house. And we're back. Let's do some building. Also, look at this cuteness that happened here. I love them. Okay, so for the house, I think we're going to build over here. Right here on the waterfront. This is actually a tiny little island, which I think is really cute. Maybe this can be our starter island. But anyway, I'm going to make a little foundation. And I want to kind of try to take it back to cute Minecraft basics with this house. I really like the nostalgia of not building big at first. Or even like medium size, but just building really small and cute. So we'll just do a little staircase type situation. And maybe a couple of leaves here. And then we're going to use dark wood to make a kind of little awning like this. And we'll do the same on the sides. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think that's the base. Like I said, it's going to be small. But we'll add some pillars. We'll leave a spot for the door and then do oak for the walls. Oh, I like it so far. It's gonna look good with the mangrove wood. That's what we're doing for the roof. Look at how pretty this color is. It's so much nicer than I thought it'd be. Then lastly, we just have to add all the cute details. We're so close to being done, but it's kind of missing something. It, uh, it still needs a door and the top of the chimney. 
But I'd really like them to be spruce wood, which means we need to go find spruce wood. Come on, you two. We're going out again. Also, while we're heading off on a mini journey, it'd be nice if we could find some farm animals. Oh, I think I found a sheep already. Hello. Okay, we'll get you on the way back, but I'll share you for now. Oh, three wool too. I'm going to make a second bed. And I got a glimpse of the spruce trees. They're not very far away. Ah, there we go. Just up on that mountain. Well, this is a cool little peak. And we're here for you. Beautiful spruce. Oh, that's dirt. And with that, we can head home and get some animals on the way. Okay, we're back and we got some chickens and some sheep. Oh, also, I planted one of the mangrove proper girls and look at this. I put it in the river and I wasn't sure if it would grow or not, but it definitely did. And then, of course, I used the spruce wood we gathered and finished the house. It came out like a cute little cottage and we've got this tiny little interior. We've got enough room for a few more chests and this is our first ever pickaxe. I never end up keeping them, but I thought I'd keep it this time. I do think we really need a bridge going between the lands, though. I might do it along a little bit in an easier spot. I think here might be good. We're going to need to clear the trees and gather a little bit more wood, though. Actually, maybe the LAs can help. I think one of them picked up a piece of dirt for me, but other than that, I haven't really used them. Okay, how do you work? Do I have to take the dirt? Yes, and then that. And now I think the idea is that when I chop oak wood, it'll come and collect it. Hello? It's not working. Oh wait, I did it. It worked. Maybe we'll try a dark oak for the other one. I think that'll be more useful. Wait, where did you go? Luna, Luna, I have thing for you. Wait, wait, <laughs> don't go. Ah, I placed it. There you are. And now as we chop down this tree, we should have a little helper. Oh, it's doing it. <laughs> And I think we've got everything we need, so let's build this bridge. We're going to make the base out of mostly oak and maybe some coarse dirt. And it's on a bit of a diagonal, so this will be interesting. I have already confused myself with the pattern. It might help if we add the pillars as we go. So we're doing dark oak and we're stripping them. And then we'll have a gap and one here. And then we do a gap and one here. Okay, good. So it's starting to curve this way, so now we have to curve this way. So we go a gap and a pillar, and a gap and a pillar. We'll line every gap with a trap door. And we'll add a couple of decorations. It's kind of killing me that I don't have any more iron. I want lanterns for on these. We'll get that sorted next time, but other than that, the bridge is done. So we managed our starter house, some crops, a couple of animals, and a bridge. I think next time we'll improve our food situation and I'd really like to go looking for frogs. Ooh, we can get frog lights and make hanging lanterns. It's gonna be so cute! But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one.